Physicians say, what's the point of ordering a viral culture? It takes so long, by the time I get it back, the patient's gone and he's doing fine. If the virus is what's causing the problem, they need to know that right away so they can either discontinue antibiotics or not give the antibiotics in the first place. There were a number of samples that our physicians would get nothing back from. You know, they would do cultures, they would do everything, and we never identified what the pathogen was. We weren't doing coronavirus. We weren't doing anything to repair influenza for. When we get into our respiratory season, oftentimes we need to cohort patients. And if we don't have a diagnostic result when we actually hospitalize the patients, then we've got an issue. But what the film array does that a lot of other different molecular tests don't is that it offers a truly sensitive multiplex test. With just running the one test, you can get multiple results all within that hour. I think it's amazing that they can detect so many pathogens in a single little pouch. The actual science behind it, the molecular biology is absolutely incredible. It's hard to imagine any other system right now that's out there that can do close to 20 results in an hour with just a, a few minutes of hands-on time. It's two minutes of hands-on time. A rehydration step, a single step of adding specimen, placing the pouch in the instrument, and then in an hour you have an answer. The physician can get a result faster, and that means they can start treating the patient faster or, in some cases, stop treating a patient. One of the main questions we always get is, you know, what does my child have? And so one of the nice things now is that we can actually identify which virus uh, the patient has, name it by its etiology, and it really gives parents, I think, the satisfaction of knowing uh, what their child actually is dealing with. They know where to place the child, whether they're going to admit them or whether they're going to put them in, into the hospital and cohort them with a patient, another patient, or whether they need to be in isolation. Film array, if I can say anything, is fast very fast and that's what the physicians want in a children's hospital is something that fast so we can get the children in and out they don't have to wait before we would have to send those tests out and it would take us two days to get a result for a PCR and now it takes an hour to run a film array but it takes maybe five minutes of tech time we've dramatically reduced the turnaround time to the point at which you know we can provide information to clinicians even before the patient's admitted from the ER. Our volume for uh, respiratory specimens has uh, just skyrocketed. We might get um, five to 10, 15 viral cultures in the past in a day, but now we've done as many as 60, 70 film array viral panels in a day. This test was extremely easy to do, so we could have just about anybody on any shift perform the assay with a minimum amount of stress and not an awful lot of opportunities to mess up. The film array system is really easy to use. That's, what I, that's one of my favorite things about it, is that the training is very minimal. The learning curve is probably five or 10 minutes for that instrument, because the total hands-on time is only a couple minutes. It's easier than making lasagna. The software that's atta attached to film array is super easy to use. There's pictures on the screens. If you make a wrong move, it'll tell you to back up and won't proceed without that. It's very user-friendly in that sense. It's a walk-away machine. That's nice, too. Once the first little initial setup is done, we can walk away for that hour and, and just come back, set a timer, and know when it's going to be done. We did a cost analysis. And to do the testing the way we did pre-film array cost us somewhere between $300 and $350. The film array is about a third of that. So, you know, we're getting a faster result for actually a lower cost. So we had more rapid turnaround time, less complexity, um, and just general overall ease of use. And, and great accuracy as well, because we've increased the number of targets again that we were able to detect. We were one of the first sites to go up with the film array, and we've gotten calls from across the country asking us about our experience with the film array and we wholeheartedly uh, recommended the film array to anyone that's called. I would definitely recommend the film array to other users that are, are looking for something that takes up very little space but gives you big results. We've enhanced many of the important components of being a clinical microbiology lab and serving our physicians. It's a win-win. It's a win-win for everybody. It takes us less time, we get more accurate results. The doctors get their result faster so they can make wiser decisions and quicker decisions, and then the child benefits from that because the quicker you get them the medicine, the less, they, the less sick they're gonna be.